ahead of the upcoming England fixtures that we've got in the international break. I thought, why not? But to make a video saying what Newcastle United players were, of course, English, could get into the England squad. And by the way, there's 16 to choose from. I didn't realise we had that many English players. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Read then, lads and lasses, I hope you're all well. Now, Gareth Southgate's always had his favourites for England, as he has with Harry Maguire and Calvin Phillips now. Two players who are questioned that shouldn't be playing for England by many, many fans. In my opinion, Harry Maguire is a complete different player playing for Manchester United than for England. He is very good for England, for Manchester United. In my opinion, that club is just... It's a toxic place to go to. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. And there's no coming back. We've seen with Anthony, Jaden Sancho, Mason Greenwood for obvious reasons. But not only just favouritism, Newcastle United's always kind of seem to be overlooked. Of course, before John Joe Shelby had a show back in the day, back in 2016, I think it was. Uh, many other players like Jamal Lascelles back then as well have always kind of been overlooked, but not just in recent times either. In my opinion, we are being very, very overlooked now. Not just Newcastle United, of course, but the English lads we have in the squad. We're going to go through and I've got a kind of tier system. We're not doing a tier list, but I've got a tier system of where I'm ranking these players. First, of course, we have got, should be in with a shout. Below that, a mild shout. Below that, injury, so of course can't play no matter what. And straight up no, which is, it is a bit harsh, but we'll have to get it in for the video. So to start it off, these are the English lads we have in the team. Yes, there is 16 and I really can't believe it. I didn't know I had this many. So of course, starting in goal, Nick Pope, Mark Gillespie, Lascelles, Target, Byrne, Livramento, Trips, Miley, Longstaff, Willick, Hall, Barnes, Jacob Murphy, Gordon, Wilson and Anderson, who of course is Scottish, but he can still be eligible for England. Vice versa for Harvey Barnes. We'll get straight into the last tier, which in my opinion is respectfully a straight up no. And of course, I'm going to give you reasons for every single one. You let me know in the comments if you agree slash disagree. Straight up no for me. It's Mark Gillespie with all due respect. He's just not barely played for Newcastle United. I don't think there's too much information needed on that one, but there's... Hundreds of keepers better than him. Next, we'll have Matthew Target in the straight up no category. No, he's not the worst left back in the world. Of course, he's not. He's played pretty decent, had a very good cameo against Manchester City. But in my opinion, there's even one better English left back, which we'll talk about, to have a chance in this England squad at Newcastle United, never mind in world football. Lewis Miley is in this category as well. He's just a young lad. I mean, he's going for the England youth ranks right now. He's not England ready whatsoever. Tino Livermento next up, a fantastic cameo against Manchester City as well. I can't wait for him to get more in it. He looks like an absolute fantastic player. He's going to be a great product learning under Kieran Trippier, yeah, Eddie Howe and Newcastle United. Where this club's going, he's going to be a fantastic prospect. And he is yet again with the youth ranks of England, not ready for England. Yet we have a fantastic depth spot in right back in the England national men's squad. In last on the straight up no list, which I, I do feel harsh making this kind of list on a straight up nose, but Jacob Murphy is in there as well. Not a bad player by any means, but yet again, not up to England's quality. We've got fantastic players that can play on the right side. Then, of course, with injuries, Joel Willett, Callum Wilson and Harvey Barnes can't play for England. Of course, they are all injured. Wilson is coming back, but I think he was rumoured with a knock, uh, hence why he hasn't played previous games when the England squad was announced. And, of course, Willick and Harvey Barnes have been injured for a while and are unfortunately out until the rest of the season. Joel Willick, I think, is just back in late training for the Crystal Palace game. Now, moving on to mild show, we've got three players here and I'm going to start off with the one I think is the least because... If there was a middle category between no chance and mild shout, he would be in this, and it's Jamal Lascelles. I don't think he's in with a shout whatsoever, but I also don't want to put him in the category of, you know, straight up no, because his two appearances that he has had recently against Manchester City and in the Champions League against PSG. West Ham lost track of his man, unfortunately, but them two appearances against Man City and PSG, I thought he was actually pretty decent. I genuinely thought we had a, a fantastic revolutionised Jamal Lascelles back. No, by any means, he's not within a shout of the England squad. If there was one in the middle yet again, I would put him there. Next, we have Lewis Hall, and the reason I'm putting him in, yeah, no, he's not had many appearances for Newcastle United. He did struggle, unfortunately, against Manchester City in the Cup. He's only 19 years old. He's still a young lad. But the reason I've put him in with a mild shout is because he's already trained with the England squad. I think somebody got injured. I can't remember exactly who it was, but he come in the sort of, what, what's the word? Provision, provisionary squad, I think it was. I think that's the exact term for it, what the England social media use. Then moving on to one which I genuinely think, and I feel very strong about when he just misses out on, you know, should be in with a very, very good chance. It is Dan Byrne. You could have guessed as we were talking about previous left backs, English from Newcastle United earlier. I do believe he's in with a shout, not because he's been, you know, world class or anything like that. I think it's because there's not many English left backs that has been better than Dan Byrne right now. I mean, think off the top of your head. Luke Shaw, he's, he's been better than Luke Shaw. Ben Chilwell, he's been better than Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell had a very good start of the season, but he's 
not really come off after that. Of course, Chelsea's got fantastic squad depth. Players have been playing over players. But in my opinion, you know, Dan Burns played very well in the Champions League. Dan Burns played very well in this Newcastle United side. He certainly deserves a shout, 100%. And of course, he's got versatility there as well, being able to play centre-back. And he genuinely is within a chance. I know it might not be England style, but if he's the best performing English left-back, surely he should be in the squad. Now, moving on to the big shouts, and of course, there's three players here as well. They are not in the squad. Of course, they wouldn't be on this list. And the three players that we are not going to talk about is, of course, Kieran Trippier. He's in the squad, rightly so as well. In my opinion, one of the best right-backs in the world right now, with no bias included either. And Ellie Anderson and Harvey Barnes, who can switch nationality to Scotland. In my opinion, it's completely up to them if you want to get more game time. It's guaranteed you're going to get it at Scotland. I know for Harvey Barnes, Scotland don't especially play with wingers. And Elliot Anderson can play as a winger, but he's better as a midfielder, as we all know. Yet again, where are you going to get more game time? Where are you going to get more exposure? Of course, that would be England. But go and fulfil your dreams. That's all I'll say. It's up to them. And moving on to the big shouts, let's start with probably one of the more obvious ones. Nick Pope, who for some reason isn't in the team. Might be because of his injuries. I mean, he's played for Newcastle United. I don't see why that would be an issue. But I can't pick up with anything else. There is one thing which we'll get onto, which I think might be the reason. But let's take a look at the goalkeepers who are in the England squad. Number one, of course, Jordan Pickford. In my opinion, Nick Pope is a much better goalkeeper than Jordan Pickford when it comes to playing in the league. For England, Jordan Pickford's never stepped a foot wrong for England. I know he's a Mackham, but you can't put it past him. He's never stepped a foot wrong for for England. He deserves to be there. He saved us many, many times in penalty shootouts. I know we lost the Euro 2020 final one, uh, but he saved a fair few pens there as well. And against Colombia as well, many he's saved with many, many a times. Next up, Aaron Ramsdale. I mean, fair enough. He is a top keeper. Better than Nick Pope. It's to be judged with. He was actually rumoured with Newcastle United and some fans speculate one might be better than the other. Um, that's up for discussion, of course, as everything is. Ramsdale does deserve to be in there, whether that's first, second or third choice. I'm not going to argue with it, but he does deserve to be in there. But moving on to the third choice, which I really, really disagree with, it's Sam Johnston, right? And for Crystal Palace as a whole, he might not be playing the whole season. Of course, they've still got... Is it Dean Henderson that's just joined them? I do believe Dean Henderson has just joined them. Another English keeper who in my opinion, is better than Sam Johnston. And that's just a Crystal Palace as well. You know, a mid-table club. There's, there's many better English keepers than, than him, in my opinion. I don't see how Nick Pope isn't in this team. Probably because, and this is what, unfortunately, annoys me sometimes. Apart from being one of the best shot stoppers in the league, you could say. And I do stand by that as well for Nick Pope. His distribution isn't the best. Let's just keep it at that. His distribution isn't the best whatsoever. I think against PSG, I was sitting next to some lad and we were just talking. I think the ball went out like six times from a goal kick. It was, it was unbelievable. But his fantastic shot stop and makes up for it. Hence why he plays for Newcastle United. That's why he doesn't play for England. Um, I do still believe he should be ahead of Sam Johnston 100%. Next up, Sean Longstaff, who I'm going to make a video on because his uprise has been fantastic. You know, coming from an undeveloped academy where nobody in that squad, what he was in, basically made it. I mean, he's scoring in Champions League nights now. He's one of Newcastle United's most important players. And you wouldn't have thought from where he's come from, going alone to Kilmarnock, Blackpool two times, you genuinely wouldn't have thought it's fantastic for him. But does he deserve a shout in the England squad when players like Conor Gallagher and Calvin Phillips are in that squad? I do believe so. I know Calvin Phillips is a six. But he just hasn't played for Manchester City. He's not lived up to the expectation whatsoever. He's a very shocking buy for Manchester City. But continuing on to the England squad, I don't believe Calvin Phillips should be in there whatsoever. He's not done nothing to prove that. Same with Harry Maguire. Of course, they haven't been fantastic for club. Calvin Phillips was decent in the Euros tournament. But why would you not pick an on-form Sean Longstaff? He was doing it in the Champions League yet again, like Dan Byrne, who was one of Newcastle United's most important players right now. I don't see why not. He's a fantastic aid, which Conor Gallagher is a fantastic aid. And I do believe Conor Gallagher also gets undeserved hate. Like, if you actually watch him, I think he's instrumental at Chelsea's team. I think he's a very, very good player who goes under the radar. He presses very well. But yet again, Sean Longstaff is a much better player for me and deserves that spot over Conor Gallagher. And last but not least, Mr. Anthony Gordon, our best player of the season. I don't think there'll be any shame in saying that whatsoever. By far, a fantastic buy who's been revolutionised yet again by Eddie Howe. There's so many players now we could probably make two start 11s with them. But fantastic player, Anthony Gordon. is Honestly, he's so electrifying and so dangerous. I think teams are genuinely scared of him now. He gets the ball in... Like we'd seen in previous times, he's not this hot-headed lad who just goes into tackles, thinking he's some sort of hard lad and gets the odd four goals in a season. I genuinely think Ellie, uh, Ellie Anderson, sorry, Anthony Gordon, is going to be very, 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 very clinical. I think that's the next step in his game, apart from being determined to win the ball back. Apart from being, you know, uh, one with the crowd, but a fan favourite. He's genuinely going to be very, very clinical. 
and that's what's going to bring him up being a top player. We know how great he is, you know, striving down the right-hand side, getting the ball into the box, creating an attacking output, but this is what's going to bring Anthony Gordon to the next level, and when you look at the players who are on the right wing spot, of course, Marcus Rashford is there. I'm not saying Anthony Gordon is a better player than Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford overall is a better player right now. Anthony Gordon could be the better player. Not right now, he isn't. No, let's give some respect to Marcus Rashford and what he's done in his career. But on form, yet again, the same with Sean Longstaff and Dan Byrne. On form, these three deserve to be in this squad 100%. Do you agree that these players should be in the England squad? In my opinion, it's a no-brainer that Anthony Gordon, Nick Pope and Sean Longstaff should be in this England squad. Dan Byrne yet again with a very big shout. You let me know down below in the comments because I'm genuinely intrigued to what everybody else thinks bar myself. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm Jordy Josh. I give daily content on Newcastle United. Thank you very much for watching. Go and enjoy your day.